Hey, what's going on everybody? Isaac Elkison here with Civil Engineering Academy. I'm teaming up today with PPI to bring this content to you, which is awesome. Uh, I wanted to quickly share and discuss uh, the, a big question that sometimes civil engineers have when they are preparing for the PE exam, and that is, what if you are undecided on which depth section to take? What advice do we have about selecting the depth section that you should take? So stick around and let's get that answered. All right, so we're pumped to help you today. Let's discuss this question. So if you are undecided about which depth section to take, which is a common issue, especially if you're working in a field that doesn't dive into one particular area, it's very common. The first tip that I have for you is that uh, you do wanna look at what you're doing in your employment and what's gonna help you in your career. Obviously, if you're already working in a particular area like structures, you definitely want to take a structural depth exam. But if let's say that you only hit on a certain piece of the puzzle of one of the five depth exams that you could take, maybe you touch on foundations a little bit. My recommendation in that case is that you would dive into a topic like uh, civil engineering or knowing more material about foundations uh, retaining walls and how this all works together, um, uh, geotech in general, I think that would help you in your career. So if it's going to help you in your career, it's going to give you more knowledge in your career, I would say go for that uh, topic as well. So that's the first tip is look at what you are doing in your employment. Obviously, if you're uh, in something in depth already, go for that. If not, look at what piece of the puzzle you could further expand by studying and let's go for that. So if none of those apply or you just don't want to deal with that, my second tip for you is that you should go back and think back uh, to your school days and think about what you scored well in you know what what classes did you score a's in what did you enjoy studying um, what's something that you know if you were to study here for the next two or three months that uh, you might enjoy again as you get back into the habit of studying again so go back to what you did well in school and if that's say water resources because you did well in water resources then let's let's go with that topic because you know that you did well in school it'll translate really well as you study for the PE exam so it's kind of a no-brainer so there you have it guys those are my tips I, I would like to talk about though kind of a warning I think a lot of people that cover a lot of different topics or maybe they're in project management a lot of people default to say the construction depth exam and I would I would I just think that that construction depth exam is kind of a deceptive exam because a lot of engineers think that it's going to be easy and it ends up that they go and take it and uh, get slapped in the face with how hard that is because it is one of the more difficult exams uh, if you're thinking about which one to take. So I'm not saying it's not doable. You can obviously do it if you study hard and you'll definitely uh, can do it. But I, all I'm saying is that a lot of people think that that construction depth exam is going to be the easy way or it's it's going to be material that they could quickly uh, latch onto and study and do well in and and usually that's just not the case so it's usually a little deceptive so you get a lot of engineers registering for that that end up end up failing so there you have it guys hopefully these tips helped you if you are undecided about which depth section to take if you need any more advice dealing with the civil engineering PE exam, definitely check out ppi.com. You can also check out civilengineeringacademy.com. We are definitely all here to help you uh, see you through to the journey of getting your PE license and becoming a professional engineer. So uh, what do you guys think? What's the most difficult uh, PE exam? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments or uh, let me know if you are undecided about which depth section to take. What's your advice for choosing a depth section? I'd love to hear that. So anyway, hopefully these tips helped you out and we will see you in the next one. Bye.